Okay, looking at straight line graphs. So in level two, there is standard called um, corner geometry 2.1, where we learn a lot about how straight line graphs behave and, and the coordinates that exist with it. So I'm just going to go quickly over some things we learned there. So first of all, we are used to seeing y equals mx plus c, where c is the y-intercept, and m is the gradient. But not always are we given the right information. So if we are given coordinates, Generally, we call the coordinates, we will label whatever they happen to be as x1, y1, or x2, y2 for the second point. Whoops, y1. So that means the first point, the x coordinate, the y coordinate. To get the gradient using these, we use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what we're basically saying is if we've got two points, we're saying this distance minus this distance and this distance minus this distance. So that we're actually putting that fraction over each other. So the distance up and the distance across. Okay? Once we've got that, we still call it m, we can put it in a formula. That formula says that the y take away the first point is equal to the gradient x take away the second point. So again, we're still using the first point of our two points. So it might be this one, x1, y1. This one up here would be x2, y2. As long as we use one of them, it wouldn't really matter which way we let round we label them. By using this formula, we'll get the equation of a line. Generally, they like us now to write our lines as ax plus by minus plus c equals zero. So they want you to sort of get from there to there. And that just requires a bit of rearranging. So let's have a look. Let's say we've got our two points, two, one, and negative three, three. All right, we don't care what it looks like on a graph, we don't have to draw it. We want to find the gradient, so we label our points x1, y1, x2, y2. We've got 3 minus 1 over negative 3 minus 2. That equals 2 over negative 5. So it's a negative gradient. And y minus 1 equals 2 over negative 5. x minus 2. Negative 1, negative 2, because in the formula, they're both minus sides. Okay? Now we write, rewrite this. Y equals, and the easiest way to do it is to actually multiply this by negative 5. So that's plus 5 equals 2x multiplied out 4. So we've got negative 5y, we've got negative 2x, we've got 5 plus 4 is 9 equals 0, is our straight line that joins together those two points. Other couple of things that we need to know is if two lines are parallel, then the gradient of the first line will equal the gradient of the second line. Okay? If they're perpendicular, we have a really interesting one. M1 will equal the negative reciprocal of the other line's gradient. So the two gradients will meet at right angles. It will be the negative reciprocal to be perpendicular. These are useful hints in being able to do this particular topic.